Okay, so in this particular video we're going to start talking about linear equations. What that means is, is equations which are presented where you've got um, some numbers and a value of x and they want you to work out the value of x. So it could be something like this. So you've got 6x plus 7 equals 10. Okay, and that's a fairly straightforward, probably around about grade D GCSE exam paper uh, question, and the value of x needs to be solved. Now, there's a couple of rules that you need to remember with algebra. Um, the first thing is, it's rather like fractions, that whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other side. And with a fraction, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So if you have a look at some of the other videos on fractions you'll see me talking about that. But when it comes to linear equations you need to make sure always that they remain in balance. And they always balance around the equal sign. So it's a really good habit to get into to make sure that the equal sign is always like that along the page. And with a lot of maths it's always good to be able to work down the page. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need to be in a position where my x is on one side of the equation and my numbers are on the other side of the equation. Okay, so here I have a positive 7 value and that positive 7 value really I want to be on this side, on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away 7 both sides of the equation. What that means is, is if I take away 7 at this side and take away 7 that side, I can then use that take away 7 to cancel the positive 7. So on this side now I'm left with 6x because positive 7 take away minus 7 is 0, so I'm just going to ignore it. I'm going to keep my equals sign there in the middle, and this side I have 10 take away 7, which is 3. So on this side I have 3. So now my equation has been simplified a little bit to be 6x equals 3. Well, the other thing that I have to do is I have to look at that 6x, and actually I just want one value of x. So in order to do that, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 6. And that will then give me one value of x. So if I divide this side by 6, and divide this side by 6, 6 divided by 6 is just single 1. So it's just a value of x. So x equals, and again I'm going to keep my equal sign in the middle of the paper, or the board, um, and on this side I have 3 divided by 6. Now I can write that a couple of different ways. The way I'm going to write it is 3 over 6, or 3 divided by 6. And 3 divided by 6 is exactly the same if I simplify that of writing 1 half. So x equals 1 half. And that's the answer to the question. Now in order to make sure that I'm correct in answering that question, what I can do is feed the half back into my original formula and make sure that it balances. So if I do that, I'm going to say now that x has a value of 1 half. So here I have 6 times 1 half, which is 3, plus the 7, which is here, equals 10, which is there. So it's proven that my um, value of x as being a half is correct for this linear equation. Uh, they don't really get too much more difficult than that, but if you look at the next video, it will tell you a little bit more about how equations can develop. But the core rules that you need to remember, or the core rule, is whatever you do to this side of the equation, you have to do to that side of the equation. And providing you keep everything in balance in algebra, then you should be able to solve for values of x 
or why or however it's being presented to you.